Hey guys, so great news, we just got a new teaser for the champion called Zoe, and today we're gonna look at what her abilities might look like. So if you remember a week ago or something, we had a leak about a new champion coming out that said her name was not Daphne but Aldora. No, it's not Aldora, it's called Zoe. And the too long didn't read of her spells was that her passive would make her jump between bubbles, her Q would shoot bubbles in a line, her W would make enemies sleep when they hit bubbles, and her E would allow her to control bubbles. Her ultimate would summon a butterfly that would deal magic damage to enemies and also change their spells. So now, we do not have a confirmation of what the abilities of this new champion are, but looking at this teaser, we can probably already guess at least what the passive Q, W, and E are. I'm not sure about the ultimate, it could be one of these that they're showing, but in my point of view, I just saw the passive Q, W, and E. So let's look at the teaser and understand what I think is going to be this champion's abilities. Actually, before talking about the abilities, let's discuss a bit of her looks. I mean, this is such a Disney-like character, and unlike anything we've seen in League so far, I'm not sure whether people are going to be enjoying this a lot, but I've seen some hate comments about it saying that it has no place in League and whatsoever. I personally actually really love the design and think it's pretty pretty, I guess. So the first thing that pops to mind in this little interaction with Victor is that she obviously flashed twice. So I would guess that her passive is that when enemies use spells or also item actives, which we'll see in the last clip of this teaser, they'll drop little spell bubbles which Zoe can actually pick up and use herself, but she will most likely have a limited time to use them and I would say that she gets empowered auto attacks from them. As you can see from the three little bubbles that she gets after using a spell. Now I'm quite confused as I haven't seen this champion actually use auto attacks without using a spell first. So I'm wondering, will this champion actually have access to auto attacks without the use of spells beforehand? Well, I guess we'll have to wait for that one. Moving on to the Tristana interaction, she is probably using her Q, which is a tennis racket and a ball. She probably cues it to one spot, then cues it again for the other spot, just to show you that she can recast it really quickly in between. From the Ramus interaction, I would say she's most likely using her W, which fires a long skill shot line that places a trap on the floor, and when enemies go over that trap, after a brief delay, they'll be put into sleep mode. Now this is something that I'm speculating, as it was mentioned in the leak before that this champion would put enemies to sleep, and this new status is only broken by being hit by other champions, so Ramus would just stay there sleeping until someone hits them, or probably some long time runs out. This little interaction with Aurelion's soul actually got me quite confused about one thing. For the second time, she's used her Q or her tennis racket, whatever you want to call it, in a really far away position from her enemy and only on the second cast does she actually point it at the enemy. Now, does it do more damage on the second cast or can't you even cast it at first to enemies? The second thing about this interaction is that she creates a portal, which I am going to think that it's going to be her E ability, and she goes in between those two portals. This could be really interesting to dodge skill shots, but it does not allow you to go through walls as she probably will always hop back to the initial portal. And finally, this last interaction with both Derek and Jinx is pretty confusing. Well, it seems confusing at first, but when I broke this down, it actually made a lot of sense. So she flashed herself and both the enemies flashed. So that means that she can pick up both bubbles to flash two more times. You can also see two item actives on the floor, which I'm reckoning she might be able to use as well. The enemy also used cleansed and that dropped cleansed, which means that any summoner spell used, Zoe will probably be able to pick it up and use it. She also uses her tennis racket and simply the OPness of using three flashes is amazing. Now, I don't think we've seen her ultimate yet. I think they're keeping it a secret because we only see three abilities, but I reckon it will have something to do with the butterfly that they've talked about. And if it actually does change the enemy summoner spells, I really want to see what they're going to be changed to. And that means that she will be able to use those summoner spells herself. What an interesting champion. Let me know what you think. Do I get something wrong? Do you disagree with me in any aspect? Just write a comment down below and we'll discuss it. I'll be around to talk to you guys. Sakeos out.